what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i am back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button before we get right into this video of this wash and go routine from start to finish so if you're interested in my updated newest wash and go routine definitely stay tuned All right, y'all. So if you have been keeping up with my channel and the different changes that I have been doing with my natural hair, as far as the products go, you know, I have incorporated a ton of different new products, stuff that I've never tried before. So today I'm just going to be showing y'all really and truly my updated wash and go routine. But this is my first time trying my wash and go like this. I was like, if it's going to be a hit or miss, I might as well film it and do it with my subscribers. Okay. Like we're going to do it together. Cause like I said, we a family over here so i'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair of course if you haven't seen my updated wash day routine check that out too because there's new products over there as well new shampoos and i'm looking forward to staying with the same line and trying some more stuff as well and also too this is gonna be my first time doing this wash and go okay so like I said, we're gonna go in and try it together. I was so nervous, I was so worried because I was like, if this does not work, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna have to start doing some more research. So first things first, we're gonna go with in with the Aunt Jackie's Quench Leave-In Conditioner. So since there's nothing on my hair, I really need a leave-in because I need to detangle. Like I can't detangle my hair with gel or oil or water or anything. I need a good leave-in and this leave-in has never done me wrong. And this is the leave-in for right now. Because I have been switching over um, to products that aren't necessarily geared towards natural hair or kinky curly hair, since I'm switching over and not using those type of products, I never know what I'm gonna discover again. So we'll see what I come across as I continue to go on this journey to basically just keep growing my natural hair past this length because it's been this length for too long, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna go along with that leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna saturate each, se each section of my hair but not too, too much because I have oversaturated my hair with leave-in before and it has completely destroyed my wash and go because we all know that if you put too much leave-in on and then you do a gel on top, it's gonna break the cast and it's not even gonna be able to solidify or anything. It's We've seen it happen on my channel, okay? Everybody know all this natural hair, all of this stuff is straight up chemistry, okay? That's why everything is just so trial and error. So... I'm gonna go in and to keep my hair from drying while I'm trying to work with it, that's why I go in with whatever conditioner or leave-in I'm gonna do so I can detangle in peace and not have to rush and detangle. I, I know that whatever water that's in my hair is gonna stay in my hair because I put a product on top of it to make sure to seal it in. And like I said, that just buys me more time when it comes to detangling. So. First thing I'm going to do is go section by section and detangle. I'm still looking for a better detangling brush. I still need to get my hands on that wet brush, but the only, not the wet brush, the unbrush, sorry. But the only thing about that is that the teeth are short. And that's the problem that I ran into with the last brush that I tried. This brush works because the teeth are very, very long. And I understand y'all are probably like, Kai, if the teeth are shorter you got to use smaller sections but I'm impatient I have a lot to do your girl got to go to sleep I got to go to work I got to do household chores I have a lot of things to just do so I need to be able to break each section of my hair down into three maybe if it's a good day if I'm real relaxed four sections but other than that because the teeth on that last brush were so small it's like, I would probably have to grab like one inch sections or probably smaller than that of my hair just to get a good detangling because it just wouldn't go all the way through my hair. But anyway, 
I'm just gonna go section by section detangling and I'm really gonna speed through and skip a couple of parts because y'all have seen me do plenty of these things before but I'm just excited to get to incorporate these new things so at the very beginning of this video y'all saw the finished outcome of this wash and go but when I tell y'all I was so worried okay i was very worried while i was doing this wash and go i was just praying that it came out good so i can incorporate it in my new routine because if you haven't seen the videos where i am reviewing um oils right now by vatika amla oil and stuff like that please go check those videos out as well because that'll update you on what i what else i've been doing when it comes to incorporating new products so right here i actually was very surprised i'm looking at the shedding okay so i usually shed more than this i have not detangled my hair in a week my hair was in a bun and so to see it now actually it's been a little over a week and so to get that for it being a little over a week is good we don't want more or less that just means that just means my hair ain't falling out okay we just want to make it less and less and less as possible so right here i am showing y'all the oils that i have incorporated and that i'm so nervous to use so the green one is amla and cactus and the yellow one is almond and jasmine oil okay so if you haven't seen the video on this definitely check it out so i did this process last time with the leave-in and then the oil but all i did was pull my hair back into a bun so that was my very first time using it and seeing how it was on my hair. So this time I'm trying a wash and go with it. Now these are very lightweight oils. Like if you just go watch the video, I'm gonna link it down below because I talk about these oils like crazy. I've probably done about two to three videos on it already, but they are very lightweight oils. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spray these oils on each on all the sections of my hair and i'm just gonna rub it through and work it in so the reason why i'm very nervous is because i'm doing leave-in oil and gel okay so i'm doing log l-o-g okay instead of l l-c-o and all that stuff no we doing the opposite way because my first time using the oils i applied it to a dry wash and go and it was nice or whatever but um someone in the comments was able to educate me on how it is better to put oil on wet hair than dry hair to just really and truly reap the benefits of it and i actually found it more convenient to put it on my wet hair as well instead of spraying it on like it's an oil sheen okay so that is why i'm nervous because all i'm thinking about is is this too much leave-in? Is this too much oil? Is the gel that I use strong enough to create a cast to where I come out with this nice wash and go that lasts long, that isn't frizzy and all that stuff? I'm just, it, is my hair gonna be moisturized? Can this become my new routine? Okay, that's all I'm thinking about because we're currently looking at me here in the moment. But as you all saw before the video even started, but i'm gonna leave that for the end i'm gonna tell y'all truly what i'm gonna rate this and how i feel about it and if i'm gonna continue to do it but yes that's why this is really my updated wash and go routine because i'm just like let's try this out hopefully it works so as you can see i'm just gonna continue to spray it on each section and work it in I'm gonna use a good amount because it's in a mister. I'm not pouring it in my hands like I did last time. I'm not using, I feel like I'm not using as much as I did last time because last time I sprayed it directly in my hand and put it on each section. Opposed to this time, I'm kind of misting the whole section a few times and just working it in. Because like I said, I didn't want to use too much product and then sit up there and try to put gel on it and it just completely, disintegrates the gel okay just completely breaks the cast because the cast of the gel is what makes my wash and go last okay that is what makes my wash and go last so now that we have all of that in we are going in with my og the wet line extreme gel now this gel the reason why i keep going back to it and keep using it is because the chemistry that it has with the products that i use has always been very positive it's always been very very good so i already did the back section of my hair and i just want to show it to y'all because i started to get nervous but 
as I was putting it on, it first of all, I hate doing wash and goes with fingernails. I can't get in there like I want to. It's very annoying. But anyway, there what you all are seeing is a white cast on my hair. Okay, that's not just the camera or anything. It is actually white on top of my hair. Now, the only reason why I was worried about there being a white cast on my hair, I was hoping it would go away. And I was also hoping that it would not flake off, okay? So that's the main thing that I'm looking at is when this dries, is it still gonna be white? And is it gonna flake? But like I said, that wet line extreme, I've been using it for some years now and it has never failed me. One thing that I did find very interesting, have y'all noticed that when your product chemistry doesn't work, the, the leave-in will go against the gel and it'll roll up. It'll like curd, like it'll turn into like little balls and it'll just be like everywhere. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The product literally rolls up like it's getting pulled off the hair shaft. That did not happen. And that's why I was like, whoa, this is different. This is different. It turned into a cream, okay? Hear me out now. I'm the like, I'm literally going through all this in my head. It turned into a cream. So the white that you're seeing was creamy. It wasn't curdy. It didn't roll up and turn into little white balls. It didn't flake off on my shirt or on the table. It turned into white cream. And so that kind of, that actually put me a bit more at ease i never seen anything like that before, but that's just me hoping that the products are getting along and they ain't fighting, all right? So the gel was pulling up that leave-in and working with the oil, and it was literally turning into a white cream all over my hair. Now, it's not like stark white or anything like that. Granted, I might not be able to wash and go like I used to because, I, you know, you want the white to go away, but I was like at least it's not rolling up because if it was rolling up i would definitely feel like i was gonna get some flaking but it turned into a cream and it actually felt really good my hair was actually very very soft it was smooth and even while letting it dry i was like okay this is nice like it feels nice i didn't get any red flags it's just me overthinking as I'm trying something new because I'm like, is this oil just gonna penetrate straight through that gel? And I'm just gonna get this frizzy, fluffy wash and go. So as I'm putting it on the front section of my hair, I will say this was really hard. I understand why people will shingle their hair now because, and I don't know, it's probably because I had fingernails too, but the way the gel pulled everything together and it turned into like a thick cream, I needed to separate it. Like I was having a hard time separating it because of my fingernails, but I know like if I didn't have them, I think I'd be able to rake it through better. So this is all the product in my hair. This is what it is looking like. No, that is not the shine from the ring light. That is what color my hair is, okay? So I just want y'all to know that this is what my hair looked like when I looked in the mirror. This isn't the ring light, you know, playing with your eyes or anything like that. So it's looking good. It's feeling good. Um, it's nice and hard. It's I feel it hardening just a little bit, but we're just going to let it dry and we're going to come back, okay? We're going to let this dry. And I'm gonna take a full 24 hours to let it dry. And we are gonna come back because who would I be to try out a whole new wash and go routine and not show y'all what it looks like dry. So I'm nervous, but I'm excited. We're letting her dry and I'm gonna be back to show y'all the full finished dry results and give my opinion on how this did with incorporating these new oils in my wash and go routine. all right y'all so at this point your girl is lit okay like i was so excited i was so ecstatic look at this wash and go she's gorgeous not a white anywhere there is no white anywhere there was no flaking and you can tell when your hair is gonna flake or not my curls are soft they are so soft 
but they also have like a smoothness and they still have a little bit of crunch on the outside now it was taking my hair a little longer to dry the inside is still a little damp but not too much i will say my hair is about 85 percent dry right here because majority of it is dry it's just that very inside root part that's not dry yet but anyway y'all this is getting a 10 out of 10 from me i'm so excited that this worked out this is definitely going to be my new wash and go routine where i can incorporate my hair growth oils and we get the hell growing okay so if you haven't tried this out try it out let me know what you think i want to thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video please 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 be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video